let's talk about the difference between an ERC-20, ERC-721, and ERC-1155 smart contract. In particular, the token itself. What's the difference? You know, what, what's all the fuss about? ERC-20 is a fungible token, meaning that that token can be reproduced. An ERC-20 token can be duplicated, or in this case, as we know in the crypto world, the supply can be uh, inflated. We can make it a limited supply, but at the end, it's a duplicated token that's what it is right in erc721 it's an nft or a non-fungible token which means that there is one unique token right i can still have a smart contract that has a x amount of supply of erc721 or in this case nfts however each nft must be unique it has it must have unique traits unique properties that's that's what it makes the the token non-fungible because it's it's unique it's, it cannot be duplicated on the other hand we have an erc 1155 token what is so special about an erc 1155 is the fact that i can mint fungible or in this case erc 20 as well as ERC721 tokens on the same smart contract, which is very different from an ERC20 smart contract because the ERC20 only allows me to mint ERC20 or fungible tokens. The ERC721 smart contract only allows me to mint non-fungible tokens or NFTs. And the ERC1155 smart contract allows me to mint both fungible and non-fungible tokens on the same smart contract. What's the benefit of it? It's a simplified contract, a lower gas fees, and allows you to expand the possibilities of, of adoption. So an ERC1155 gives you more possibilities to use with your token. Let's say, for example, we want to create a token that can be used as a staking token, right? And then you have an NFT that could potentially provide the holder or the owner of that NFT ERC-20 tokens in exchange as passive income. So you can develop a smart contract that allows the NFT holder to stake their NFTs on a smart contract that will pay the holder a reward in fungible tokens or ERC-20 tokens. Very, very, very simple to understand. We repeat, ERC-20, fungible tokens, or in this case, what you know as cryptocurrencies, those are fungible tokens. Number two, the ERC-721 is a non-fungible token or NFT, meaning that there is a unique, unique token. The token cannot be duplicated. It's, it's one unique token. And finally, the ERC-1155 allows me to mint both ERC-20 and 721 tokens on the same smart contract. Got it? Very simple. In another video, I'm going to be deploying an ERC-20 smart contract so you can see how we can mint a supply of fungible tokens. And then we'll do the same thing with an ERC-721. And finally, we'll do an ERC-1155 smart contract so you can see what the power of an ERC-1155 smart contract can provide you, okay? Keep watching, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next time.